that, then you try to restrain yourself for the pleasure of Allah, right? So alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, So the fasting ties into what Allah created it for, right? It's beautiful. Now, so then, before we close the first part of the cookbook, we got this taqwa, we want to establish that in our mind, right? This consciousness of Allah, righteousness, right? Etc. right? So, you know why we're fasting? To seek something, to know what we can get. And you know, it's beautiful when, when Allah tells us because to some extent you can measure that, right? After the fast is over, brother, sister, you can say, so how you may, you know, I feel like I'm a little more righteous, right? You know, I feel like I'm a little more conscious, right? You know, I mean, I used to do this every day. But you know what, through Ramadan, I only did it maybe five times. So I know I must be better, right? So you can measure something, right? Yourself, right? So now, uh, dear believers, before we close, keeping this stuff in mind. But the fast. We want to say something about the fast. Last week we mentioned where Allah mentioned guidance three times. Muhammad the prophet is pressed three times. Ibrahim looked at three lights, etc. Right? Because Allah says uh, uh, in Ayat, now we go through the page. Allah said in Ayat 184. Now we mentioned fasting, right? In Ayat 184 of Bakara, follow. Allah then says, he says, he, he explains it, but understand, first he is 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 beauty. Because first he lets you know what this is all about. When, when you could think that, okay, you want to talk about Ramadan first, and then tell us about fast, this is Ramadan. But Allah is saying, you're going into Ramadan, so I'm going to tell you what fasting is about, what this is about first, right? So Allah says in the next ayat, now he explains it, he says, do it a number of days, right? He said, but if any among you is ill or on a journey, it says they can make the days of ukara, ukara, akir ukara. Let you know what it means, ukara, the alif, the khara, later on, right? You can make up the days later on, but listen. And then Allah says, but if you can't fast, and this part is so important for us before we go. Allah says, but if you can't fast. Now, we're not talking about if you're on a journey or if you're ill. Allah say, let's say if you have a permanent illness. Right? For some reason, many of us got a permanent illness. You may have cancer, diabetes, but you may have a permanent illness where you can't fast physically. So we're going to stand physically. You got to take your medicine, this, that, and that's what Allah say do. You don't kill yourself for this. So Allah say, now, if you can't fast, so important, Allah say you can then, they use the word ransom, feed someone. Take care of somebody that's needy, right? You read, you read that out if you read your Quran. If you can't fast because of a permanent reason that you can't fast at all, right? Allah say, okay, feed, help somebody in need, right? So don't feel bad. See, Allah, Allah doesn't. Don't feel bad. I can fast. You can't. And we're talking about fasting. No, no, no. Allah ain't dividing us like that. Allah say, if you can't fast, feed someone, help somebody. And if you have an inclination to go beyond that, Allah said that's better for you. If you say, hey, I got to feed five people, you decide to feed ten, Allah said that's better for you, sister. Now, but how does that ayat end? Allah says, what end? That's 184. What end? Allah says, but fasting it's better for you if you but knew. But we want to get understanding of this so we won't be divided. What is the purpose of fast? Taqwa. So Allah lets you know that taqwa, and Allah mentions how we get taqwa in many cases, but the fast is about taqwa. So taqwa is better for you if you but knew. So, so you have to put that in perspective because if you can't fast permanently, and you feeding somebody. And a lot, and you just take it as, oh, I can't fast, so this isn't as good as fasting. Fasting is on several levels, right? We know that. It's not just physical. You can fast physically all day long, but acting like a madman in the street, right? Cursing and fighting 
Ain't changed in your mind and your heart. So in no Ramadan, we're to fast from arguing, fighting, negativity, right? Physical, mental, spiritual. So you can fast not only from that, that's required. But how you gonna just not eat, man, but you the same bum, crazy, criminal, deceitful, lying devil that you was before. Well, I'm gonna talk to myself. I'm not just saying to you, right? So you have to sort of say, fast from that, right? And those of us that's aware of that, you say, man, boy, you better be lucky as wrong with that. So the fast is not only physically. For those who can't physically fast, no, it's not just that. So Allah say, yes, fasting is better, but better how? Because it gives you tukwa. So if you fast, what do tukwa do? Tukwa will make you be a little more kind, right? Loving feel of Allah will make you be nicer, right? So it's physical, mental, and spiritual because Allah mentioned it three times. Then the third time in Ayat, one 80, 80, 185, and we're going to close here. 185 is when Allah tells us that Ramadan is the month in which Quran was revealed. Three steps. Fasting, he mentions fast, taqwa. Then he says fasting is better for you if you only knew. Meaning, we know some of the benefits of fast. He knows taqwa, but Allah says, this is bigger than you can ever know, man. You're fasting physically, Mentally, your spirit, man, is better for you in ways you can't even imagine. So fast in our character, fast in our attitude. As Muhammad the Prophet said, say, a man came to him and asked him for advice. What did he say? And this is hard, right? He said, don't get angry. <laughs> a lot of us got to get anger management, right? <laughs> and he said, okay, give me more advice. He can practically say fast, really. He said, don't get angry. <laughs> then he asked him the third time. He said, don't get angry. You see? So he really, now, why am I saying three times? Because the law says in 183, fast for Tukwa. 184, fasting is better for you. And listen, he mentioned it three times. I had five, Allah said, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Shakru Ramadan al-Adi unzi la fihi al-Qur'an al-Hudan li-Nasi wa bayanatin hula of Benatin wa Benat, uh, Huden, Linasi wa Benatin, Minel Huda, while for Bon. Now watch this. Femen, Shahida, Minkumu, Shahuru, Fel Yasumu. Whoever is a witness, they have to fast. You see? Whoever is a witness. So in the three ayats, he mentions it three times, right? So the fast affects us physical, mental, and spiritual. So it's beyond just physical food, right? Why? Because anger, anger, three times, right? We know what anger can do, right? And it ain't always easy to contain it, right? But fasting, you fast physically, you fast mentally, and you fast spiritually. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Ramadan Mubarak, the blessed month of Ramadan in which Quran was revealed. But we want to get ready to close. Remember when you read, if you've been doing your reading, some will be on the third day, fourth day, depending on when you start fasting. When you read here from 183 where he talks about fasting, he mentions it three times to give us the message that yes, fasting is physical. Fasting is mental. Fasting is spiritual. You have to restrain yourself in certain ways, right? We know that, right? So here, Allah says, as we close with that, keep in mind, brother, Allah don't divide us like that, because you can have someone that can take it wrong. Say, fasting is better for you if you but knew. I can't fast. I got this. I got that. I can't fast. No, you might not be able to fast physically, but you can fast spiritually. You can fast in your behavior, right? And that's better than somebody that's fasting physically, but still doing whatever, right? I don't have to say it. Myself is all, right? So we know that's, that's and that tukwa, brothers and sisters, we know that's not physical. So that gives you the clue right there. 
Tukwa is a certain mindset, right? Tukwa is a spiritual thing. Tukwa is righteousness. Tukwa is, is a loving fear of Allah. Now, it may be reflected in your behavior to some extent, right? But Allah said he put Tukwa in your soul. And Allah said, I created you that you will have this Tukwa. And Allah says in Quran, which is the next pillar, he said, for Hajj, he said, when you get ready to go on Hajj, he said, make your provisions, get your doctor stuff, get everything you need. But Allah says what? He said, but the best garments leave bad through taqwa. That the best covering is the taqwa. So strive and ask Allah to give you that taqwa. To give you that loving feel on all levels as possible. Loving feel of Allah. Righteousness, goodness. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. To be yourself, as Allah says when we close. For Allah Allah, He's already put it in you. But over the year, right? We may lose some of it, right? And we may get this way. So Allah gives us a chance to get some of that tough walk back. And we say, man, Ramadan is right on time, man. Because I was here, I was there, right? So Allah gives us a chance to get that original good nature back. And if you didn't lose it, he gives you a chance to increase it over and over and over again. So dear believers, we pray to Allah, accept our fast, alhamdulillah. Pray to he accept our Jumah today. The Qutbah and the Salah. Alhamdulillah, God has had mercy on us. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi me create that greater bond and love for us. And Alhamdulillah, we pray that everybody will be safe at always in the pandemic and any other time. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi me He guide us, protect us. Alhamdulillah. So we close, and the word we're going to close with is going to be Dukwa. But we start this way. Remember that word. Rabbana anti nafi dunya hasanatin. And give us the protection from the hellfire. That's why I talk about it's so powerful. It can protect us from the hellfire. Our love of Allah and righteousness and trying to execute that. Because uh, matters are judged by intentions. Was your intentions good and honorable? You're not perfect. A lot closer to you and your juggler vein. For Allah said, I was to punish you for every mistake. Listen, it wouldn't be a creature, not just man, it wouldn't be a creature left on this earth. So Ramadan allows us to redeem ourselves and be born again as a new good person. Inshallah, we make it through Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Love you all, brothers and sisters. As Muhammad the Prophet said, you don't truly believe unless you desire the good for your brothers and sisters. Love for your brothers and sisters that you love for yourself. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah, Ikamah.